Okay, so I came to the bathroom because that's the only place I feel comfortable while you and Lisbon walks in. That's gonna be awkward, but I am here at the airport. My uncle or my I can't even want to call him my uncle. He's not my uncle. He's my freaking cousin. But he's like my dad's age, but he dropped me off an hour early. I was gonna do a little montage thing, but I completely forgot. Um, this airport is super small, so I had. I have KSA pre-check. I didn't sign up for it. I always get it for some reason. My hair was a hot mess because I ran out of conditioner, so I couldn't do it. And my hair is super dry and brittle, but at my mom's house, I best believe I'm going to get me some conditioner. I also brought my straightener in case I want to straighten my hair. I want to show you guys my outfit because I think it's actually pretty cute. And I think that's all I wanted to say before someone else walks in here. I also haven't eaten yet, but I'm going to eat when I stop in Atlanta because I have an hour and a half layover. So let me show you my cute outfit. So I'm going to stand this right behind me here. So... I have this plaid shirt on from Rose Gal. This um, sweater is from Ross. Black leggings from Target. I mean, not Target, Walmart. And then my Nike, not Nike. I'm so a mess right now. These Adidas, I don't know what they're called anymore. They're a little uncomfortable because the sides are like hard. So it's not super comfortable, but they work fine. So I'm here an hour early and nothing's open. So it's a tiny airport. So I'm just gonna chill. I downloaded some Netflix and some YouTube. I actually had to edit a video. <laughs> That I was supposed to upload yesterday, but I didn't. So I'm gonna do that now and upload it before I get on the plane. And yeah, I'll see y'all in Atlanta or maybe on the plane. I don't know. Landed in Atlanta. I'm gonna get a trip play because I want to play. Well. Okay, so I got a Chick fil A. I got me a chicken biscuit as normal. People are staring. But we're just gonna, I'm never gonna see these people again, especially in the airport. So I'm making my way to my gate. It's literally all the way down at the end of it. And I like Atlanta. It's very easy to get around. They have just a terminal, I mean, a, a plane train, they call it. And you just ride that, and it takes you to your concourse. I don't know, plane and go. So it's really easy, and I've been here, so I don't get lost. And they have a map, so I won't get lost. And I like it. So. I'm going to my gate now. Probably gonna edit a video of a gift that I made for my mom, and then I'm going to, uh, I don't know, <laughs> eat. So I'm at my gate, I'm eating my Chick-fil-A. I don't think I'm gonna edit, because I only have 15 minutes. It isn't enough. I purposely sat by an outlet, but I don't have that long of time to get my laptop out and edit, and I just hate doing that. I board at 9.36. It's like 9.15 right now. Also, there's a window over there, which I'm gonna go, there's an elevator over there, there's a window too, which I'm gonna go film, like a time lapse or something, because it looks really pretty. So, I'm just chilling. My first flight was nice, nothing wrong with it. But one thing I don't understand is what, when the plane lands, everyone stands up when they're gonna be sitting up for like 10 minutes. I stood up because people were next to me and I didn't know if they had like a layover that was tight or a layover. Yeah, like a tight layover, like a really short layover. So I um, stood up, but some people will stand up right away and I'm like, why are you standing up? Like, you're assuming standing up for like long. So yeah. And then two, I hate when people, when you're boarding and it's not their zone yet, say there's zone three, but they're boarding zone one, they'll literally stand there. Like getting on the airplane earlier doesn't do anything. It doesn't, we were just sitting on the airplane. So we were sitting, I'm not sure what's called taxiing. I'm not sure, we were literally just sitting in the airplane in Augusta, where I flew out of, for like 30 minutes. And so I watched Riverdale, I love it. I'm gonna download more episodes right now so I can watch it on my flight to my mom's. But so far, I watched episode one, so good. I, I downloaded so many things, so I was trying to watch them, but they weren't good. For Riverdale, I love it. at the same time, but on two different planes, the aircraft, your flying on is doing an 8.43 and your crew is doing an 8.42 at another gate. So we'll pretty much be deplaning while they're deplaning and they're parking just down the hall so they can walk down here. So boarding time is looking closer to about 9 a.m. We're not completely full, so hopefully uh, I can, we'll be aiming for a 9.18 departure, but we'll be depending on the flight attendants getting over here before we can start the boarding process for your flight. So now we're putting it out around nine, which is heard, which is fine. I can edit now. 
so I didn't have a chance to come over here and show y'all what it looks like because I was editing and I didn't want to get up and leave my spot next to the outlet even though it was like weird because this guy across from me was sleeping. I'll show y'all but this is what it looks like and this is the plane that I'm boarding on. So it is super loud on here, so I hope you can hear me, but the lady next to me left, so I wanted to vlog. I'm editing my mom's video, my, mom, my gift for my mom, and it's so hard to talk when you can't hear yourself, oh my god. So I'm doing that, and then I, um, the lady next to me, it sounds like she's watching me, like, what are you doing? I try not to look at her, but it's just kind of weird, like, I'm like, mm, I don't like to watch me edit. Also, there's outlet, which is awesome, even though I'm probably not going to charge my computer. Cause it's too much work and I don't want to like bother bothering the lady next to me and taking out my charger and everything. I've already moved enough. I'm vlogging. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi mom. They had a vlog. <laughs> Be fine then. That is hilarious. Y'all we are at McDonald's because my mom is craving it. She got herself a biscuit. You got a biscuit right? A McMuffin. Uh, McMuffin. Same difference. No not. <laughs> But I got it. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, look it. You do that all the time when you go through drive thrus Two very different things. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see. <laughs> That's funny. Mom, one time I was at Wendy's and I screwed beside my, 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 my rim. And I was turning from the speaker thing and I was like. <gasps> but I checked and dad hasn't said anything and I didn't really notice anything. But you know, it could have. I, I don't know. Sometimes it sounds like it, but by the grace of God, for real. Like you get out and you're like. No I was embarrassed. Phone. I was like, I hope no one saw that. That happened um, one time. Me and Grandma, are you recording? Yeah, but I can. I don't oh, have sorry. to put this in. Me, I don't care. Me and Grandma <laughs> were at Goodwill, and I parked like right on the end slot. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. So I was parked like right on the end, and it, so there was like the the parking thing on the side, and. I guess I forgot that it was there and so when uh -huh. I left, I turned too sharp and it was like, <laughs> like a, and I was like, my mom was like, oh gosh, should we get out and look? And I was like, no, I was scared because I was in the, uh, it was a small car. It was close to the mm. ground. So I felt like the whole thing was just totally torn up. So when we got back to the office, I got out and looked and there was nothing. What? It must have all been underneath. And I was like, thank you, Lord. Because I thought, what the heck? So I haven't vlogged in a while. We went to Hobby Lobby and Dollar General. It's good that I didn't vlog because my sister watched these things and we got some presents and some stuff that we're going to DIY. Um, so we're at Zaxby's now. We're getting salads. I love Zaxby's salads. And yeah, that's what's going on right now. So we are in Mi Madre's makeup room. Look how cute it is. Also, look at the immense amount of pairs of shoes my mom has. Those are all her gym shoes. And she had, do you, have, you don't even have much of like any other shoes that aren't gym shoes, do you? Yeah, but not that many. Okay, well, yeah, it's so cute. I love it. <laughs> look how fancy my mom's new name <laughs> You think? What? <laughs> So we've done a lot today, but one thing that we did, if you guys know me at all, let's see if this will focus. My camera never wants to focus. So if you guys know me at all, my nails are always stubs. So, so bad. And so this is a pretty good length for me right now. Let me show you my other hand. Hopefully I didn't want to focus. Okay. And they're a pretty good length. I like this length. I, um, they're like normally like this length, but shorter than this, even shorter than this nail right here. I don't want to flick it off, but yeah. But today, my mom went ahead and filed them for me because I don't have nail files. I suck at nail care. I never do my nails. So my mom filed them for me. And, well, today I was shopping at Walmart. And there was a bend in between my nails. And I was like, oh, shoot. So I stopped with it. It's hard whenever, like, for me, it's hard not to play with it. So I was playing with it. 
and I was biting it and I'm not supposed to bite my nails so that's why my nails end up looking like stubs in the first place and well it chipped and now I have literally a hole in the middle of my nails and I want to bite it off so so bad but I know I can't because then my nails will be like stubs and I can't do that so what I need to purchase is like a nail strengthener and cuticle oil but right now this is not cute it's really annoying and I'm really upset with myself and I'm I know I probably will bite this off unconsciously because it's like an unconscious thing yeah that's it for today my mom and I have just been hanging out. Nothing exciting. We went to Walmart. We went to Walmart. Got groceries and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. Um, so here are some presents that my mom got. I'm not sure who's just who. Her who. She won't tell me nothing. Oh my god. Why am I speaking? She won't tell me anything about them. But those are some presents. I guess I'll explain what we're doing for Christmas. So next weekend. Um, the weekend before Christmas. We are going up to Atlanta. Because my sister works in the healthcare and so she, in the healthcare works in healthcare so she actually will not have Christmas off but luckily she'll have the weekend before Christmas off and look, luckily Christmas falls on the Monday so it works out perfectly so what we're doing um my sisters Chelsea and Michaela are driving up to Atlanta and we're meeting in Atlanta to um hang out so my sister Michaela is going to be able to hang out with us and Chelsea's going to be hanging out with us and on the 24th we are going to be celebrating Christmas on the 24th because that's when we can do it with Michaela we're going to open presents and actually that's Christmas so that's what we're doing and then um Chelsea is coming back with us to come to my mom's house so basically we're going to Atlanta we have a hotel and everything and we're going to celebrate Christmas there so I'm super duper excited and they might have a hot tub there did you ask if they have a hot tub no, they have an indoor pool, so we we'll hope we have the hot. If we hope they will have a hot tub, I brought my swimsuit just in case. But yeah, that's what's happening next week. I'm super excited for next weekend. I'm super excited. So yeah, and then on the way home, we're gonna do like a carpool karaoke because we're driving home on Christmas Day. Cause my mom's husband doesn't celebrate um like holidays. He's a Jehovah Witness, so he doesn't really celebrate celebrate Christmas either. So. Um, we're gonna celebrate it um, in the whole in a hotel in Atlanta And I think he would have been fine if we celebrated it here But we wouldn't have done it been able to do it without Michaela. So it just works out like this. So that's what's happening next weekend I'm super duper excited and Yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video Hopefully there will be a video up tomorrow. I've been slacking guys I'm not gonna lie, but I'm out of school and I'm not cutting myself slack anymore Hopefully crossing my fingers. I can upload every day um, up until Christmas next year, I think I'm going to do um, 12 days of vlogmas just because this is this is so hard for me. And especially since next year's this time of year is like finals time, so it's not a good idea to like film and everything. So I have so many videos pre-filmed, I just don't feel like editing them. That's the problem. So yeah, okay. I love Riverdale. I was talking about that earlier. I'm just like trying to end the vlog, and I keep on talking. I love Riverdale. Totally recommend watching it. I watched three episodes on a total of two flights. Both of them were like an hour. So that's two hours. I guess it's not good. That doesn't sound good. But it was good. So actually, it was 30 minutes to Atlanta. So it was like an hour. Well, it was like two hours. It was an hour and a half to mom's. It was an hour and a half. Like 45 or like a minute, an hour. I don't know. It was an hour and a half. I don't know. I don't know anything. Anyway, I watched three episodes and it was really good. Recommend watching it. Amazing, it's on Netflix. Okay, goodbye y'all, I'll see y'all tomorrow.